Here's how to get ChatGPT to access the web. Let's do this. First, visit the Chrome Web Store on chrome.google.com forward slash web store. Then search for Web Chat GPT, all one word. Choose this plugin. You'll see a short explainer video and an overview below that. Click Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. That's step one. Next, open ChatGPT and you'll note you now have a new section below the search bar. Bonus tip coming up. You can toggle web access on and off. You can choose how many search results you want ChatGPT to analyze from 1 to 10. You can select the time period from any time to the past day, week, month and year. And you can even choose a specific country if you want to search only localized results. Now for the cool stuff, toggle web access on and press the forward slash. Now you can use the site operator to fetch results from a specific website only, or the page operator to fetch results from a specific page. Let's backspace to get rid of the forward slash and ask ChatGPT about Google Bard. Google released Bard only recently, so it's not yet public. You need to join the waiting list in order to get access. So we know this information doesn't exist in ChatGPT's training dataset, which stretches only up to 2021. What is Google Bard? Google Bard is an experimental conversational AI chatbot developed by Google. So here's the cool thing. The output contains numbered references to each information source. These are hyperlinks, so you can click them and visit each source. That's pretty handy, especially with important information. We no longer have to worry about the AI making stuff up. Me? You also get a summary of all the references above the output, along with URLs. When it comes to creating content, we all know that adding references makes for trustworthy content, so this is good. Also, having sources stops us from having to double check all the information, so it's a big win. But it can sometimes get a bit annoying if you have references dotted about all over your article. It just looks like you weren't able to write anything of your own. So one thing you can do is generate content that is not date specific using ChatGPT offline. In an article about Google Bard, that could be content about Google and how language models work. Then use ChatGPT with web access to create the rest of your article. That way you end up with a more readable but still trustworthy article with fewer references. Sub and I'll see you in the next video.